walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 In the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here. Conor McGregor then fucked around and got his ass beat by a motherfucking bum and sparring and shit. See, I told y'all that motherfucker ain't shit. What a fucking hype job. You got your ass whooped twice by Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz got 10 fucking losses. You ain't shit. And then they try to make you seem like you was the greatest MMA fighter of all time and shit. You know, you this and you that. And you can beat Floyd and, you know, you can. You, this motherfucker even said he can knock out Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker literally said that shit. Look, man. This is... Talk MMA released a tweet. Who was the first person to announce UFC 205? He released a tweet and said that I was told by someone close to McGregor that he was allegedly knocked out cold in sparring today. Possible broken nose, shaky to his feet. Talk MMA statement. BJPen.com also reported on this. And Eddie Alvarez heard about this and actually responded and his response was pretty fucking funny he said i heard of realistic fight simulation training but this is next level shit laughing my ass off this happened to me before too rest up be safe eddie alvarez statement what the fuck is going on with conor mcgregor man like dude you got your ass whooped choked out and then you had to rematch you gassed out in two fucking rounds. And I personally thought, I thought you lost the fight. I thought you lost that motherfucker three rounds to two at least. The fuck is going on, man? Get your ass whooped, dude. I only thought you won the motherfucking, the first two rounds. And I really want to give, give um, Nate Diaz the last four. You know what I'm saying? But he scored them knockdowns in the second round. So you got to give him those. But, you, man, Nate Diaz won that shit at least three to two, man. He took three, four, and five. But, you know, a close fight like that, they going to give it to the bigger. They going to give it to their cash cow. Fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? They can make more money with Conor McGregor. Because he this hype job that they've been hyping up. But this motherfucker ain't shit. This motherfucker, he turned down $50 million for a fight with Floyd Mayweather. Like, what the fuck, dude? And then you lying about how much you made and shit. Stop fucking lying. Your, your highest payday was, what, $3 million with the Nate Diaz rematch. And then before that, your highest was a million at UFC 196. And uh, what was that, like the Aldo fight? Maybe the first Diaz fight? I don't know, man. But you ain't making no $10 million a fight. Are you steady fucking lying about your money and shit? You were scared Floyd Mayweather was going to beat your ass. You know, I heard you got your ass whooped by Chris Van Harding, too, who was a bum that Errol Spence knocked out. Yeah, I heard about that shit because Chris Van Harding went and started bragging about that shit. Remember, Floyd told Conor McGregor to go train at Freddie Roach's gym. You know, he did that shit. And then he got his ass whooped by Chris Van Harding up in that, up in that bitch. Now you get knocked the fuck out cold? In sparring, you spar with bums, man. Because like other big name fighters, they got their own shit to handle. They got their own careers to worry about. They not about to be sparring with you. You know what I'm saying? They got their own shit to do. So you had hired a bum to help you prepare for Eddie Alvarez. And you got knocked the fuck out cold. Like, you knocked the fuck out cold, bro. They had to wake you up or something. And he might have broke your nose. Eddie Alvarez, like, joking about the shit. Like, dude, if he's injured, then you don't get a fight. So, like, he don't even give a fuck. He just, like, rest up. Be safe. Maybe because he know that the fight is going to go on. I don't know if those fighters be locked into them contracts, whether they get injured or not. Because I think Nate Diaz might have said something about an injury going into the to the rematch or something. I don't know. He might think, I thought I heard something about it, but he still went through with the fight. Maybe just because he wanted to get the money, but, you know, fighters, I don't know, man. I don't know much about MMA to make that judgment where they would be forced into going through with the fight that they signed the contract for, even if they injured. I know that they wouldn't really put the news out like that, you know what I'm saying, because it would be unfair. But, hey, maybe behind the scenes, if you pull out of this fight with an injury, it's going to hurt your career. 
You never know, man. But yeah, Conor McGregor getting his ass whipped by bums now and sparring. You know what I'm saying? Getting knocked the fuck out cold. Getting your nose broke. You know what I'm saying? You like the laughing stock, bro. You know, Nate Diaz beat the fuck out of you, man. You're really only a two-round fighter. So, you know, if I was Eddie Alvarez, I wouldn't be laughing for too long. Because this might be his way to try to get out of the fight. Because some people were saying that Eddie Alvarez was going to beat his ass. I don't know much about Eddie Alvarez. All I know is Conor McGregor is a motherfucking hype job. Who already had two losses before Nate Diaz exposed him. This motherfucker gassed out in two rounds. Got beat the fuck up. Shot for a takedown. Choked the fuck out. And guess what? He said he would never tap. I never tap in my life. In my whole career, I never tap out. Guess what you did? You tapped out. Holly Holm was fighting on the same card. She got put in the same chokehold, the rear naked choke. She got put to sleep. She wouldn't chat. She wouldn't tap. She got put to sleep. You tapped. You quit. You know, you did what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? But now, some people are calling you Connor McTapper. Because you tap out when somebody is choking you too hard. Oh, fuck, you got to release that pressure, man. Connor McGregor like... I ain't about to die up in this bitch. You got me fucked up. If I didn't tap out, he might have killed me. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. You getting your ass with by bums now. You was gassed for most of that fight. That rematch with Nate Diaz. Gassed out. Like, how do you follow up knocking out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds by gassing out in two rounds? Getting choked out, pushed nearly to death, and um, you having to quit. And then after that, you gas out in two rounds again and lose again. You lost twice to Nate Diaz. They robbed him in that second fight. And now you get knocked out by bums. And um, UFC 205 might be in trouble. You better get your fucking shit together. You better not pull out of this motherfucking fight. I got to get this money, baby. You know what I'm saying? You got to step your ass in that cage. Because if you don't fight, I don't eat. You know? And then if you come to L.A., you fucking up my money, man. Who knows, man? You're a good fighter. But, you know, there's always equalizers, motherfucker. So get your ass in that motherfucking cage. This shit ain't no fucking game. I'm tired of you weak-ass hype jobs fucking with my money. Ronda Rousey bitch ass ain't came to fight in a year. It's making good money off of that bitch. I don't like to hear about no shit like this. Yeah, he got fined too today. He got fined $150,000 for throwing a water bottle. And then he decided to talk shit about everybody in MMA over it. I got fined most of these mother, uh, more than most of these motherfuckers get paid. Yeah, whatever, bitch. And I don't like these hype jobs. They all bitches to me. Motherfucker, y'all hype these motherfuckers up too much. And then most of them talk shit. All of these hype jobs talk shit. They got to. They hype jobs. They can't just, they talent alone don't speak for itself. They need to run their fucking mouth. Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor, Triple G. You know what I'm saying? All, all of these motherfuckers. All of these motherfucking hype jobs. Running their fucking mouth, man. Don't pull out of this motherfucking fight. I want to see you get your ass whooped again. They can rob them. I don't give a fuck. Rob Eddie Alvarez. I, I'd rather see you constantly get your ass whooped and win so we can watch you in main events. I can do big numbers on YouTube and then I can constantly watch you get your ass whooped. You see, like you get your ass whooped by him and it goes to the decision and you win. Hey, I get paid. If you lose and you retire, I don't get paid. If you lose and you go start fighting on Fox cards, I don't get paid. So go through with the fight and go and get your motherfucking ass whooped. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I gotta quit fucking with you. I gotta quit fucking with you.